Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which, which we partake, partake of Christ, Christ his, his sufferings, sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory, which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. To the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery. The Agony in the Garden Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever-glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your Church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude. On this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines, O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you, 
as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Tuesday in the fifth week of Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come, let, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was born by His hands. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. Come, let, Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Please be seated. The man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and not in all its peoples, it is He who set it on the seas, on the waters He made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in His holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek Him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. Praise the Eternal King in all your deeds. Blessed be God who lives forever. 
because his kingdom lasts for all ages. For his scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Praise him, you Israelites, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him before every living being, because he is the Lord our God, our Father and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, but will again have mercy on you all. He will gather you from all the Gentiles among whom we have been scattered. When you turn back to him with all your heart to do what is right before him, then he will turn back to you and no longer hide his face from you. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners, do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God, and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all men speak of his majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. With a ten-string lute, sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded, sprung into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations, he defeats the plans of the peoples. His own design shall stand forever the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth, he who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, not relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace. They may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of the whole community of Israel and stretching forth his hands toward heaven, he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth below. You keep your covenant of mercy with your servants, who are faithful to you with their whole heart. Can it indeed be that God dwells on earth? If the heavens and the highest heavens cannot contain you, 
how much less this temple which I have built. Look kindly on the prayer and petition of your servant, O Lord my God, and listen to the cry of supplication which I, your servant, utter before you this day. May your eyes watch night and day over this temple, the place where I have been decreed you shall be honored. May you heed the prayer which I, your servant, offer in this place. Listen to the petitions of your servant and of your people, Israel, which they offer in this place. Listen from your heavenly dwelling and grant pardon. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. O God, behold their shield, and look upon the face of your anointed. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Please stand. Incline my heart, O God, to your decrees, and favor me with your law. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all the Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the, older, of the elders. And on coming <clears throat> from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed. The purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and the scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites? As it is written, These people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, they teaching as doctrine human precepts. You disregard God's commandments but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, If someone says to father or mother, Any support you might have had from me is korban, meaning dedicated to God. You allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. 
you nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that is that you have handed on and you do many things and you do many such things my dear brothers and sisters the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ please be seated magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa minor basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag few years back Hindi ako nagkakamali, late 1990s or early 2000, merong isang kanta na sumikat. Ito po'y kinanta ng Yano. Siguro sa mga hindi pa buhay noon, <clears throat> siguro sa mga hindi mahilig sa mga ganitong kanta, yung title po ng kanta is, Banal na Aso, Santong Kabayo. Ganito po siya, Banal na Aso, Santong Kabayo, Natatawa Ako. He, 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 he. Naalala nyo pa? Ito po yung the best description of some people who are hypocrites. Kasi sa unang part ng kanta, habi nga niya, mayroong isang ali, nagro-rosaryo, mata niya ay nakapikit. Pumara sa may kumbento. Sabi ng chopper, sa babaan lang po, sabi ng chopper. Kasi may nanguhuli. Dahil doon, dahil malayo ang binabaan ng babae, anong ginawa ng babae? Mura pa rin ang mura ang ali. Isa pa, merong isa, nangangaral sa may kanto, e may lumapit sa kanya, humingi, pagkain lang po, sabi ng paslit. Imakulit ang paslit, kaya ang anong ginawa ng mga ngaral? Lumipat ng pwesto. Perhaps <clears throat> that is the best description of someone or people who are hypocrites. They preach God. They show to people that they are religious. But deep inside, kapag ka nakanti mo lang ng konti, doon na lumalabas ang tunay na kulay ng isang tao. Sa atin po, marami tayong mga rituals and traditions. And actually, Many of them are not bad. Kasi sa totoo lang po, sinasabi nga, yung rituals and traditions, they help us communicate the values and the virtues that we want to communicate, that we want to develop. Di ba may mga tradisyon tayo, may mga ritual? Ritual ng paggalang. Napasok yung mga apo ninyo, mga lolo't lola dito, magmamano, nanay o tatay, magmamano. These are good things, human traditions. Kaso, ang naging problema, kapag ka may mga rituals and traditions, na kapag ka masyado tayong obsessed doon, nakakalimutan na natin kung ano talaga ang tunay na value, the underlying value behind it. The rituals and traditions during the time of Jesus Christ were actually good in at the very beginning there were good intentions behind them meron po yung mga good intentions really to keep the values and the virtues that they want to develop kaso ang naging problema halimbawa sa ebanghelyong binasa natin ang naging problema naging obsessed na sila doon sa washing sa purification that they have forgotten that the most important law is the law of love. Kita mo na sa kanila, na kapag ka, during those times kasi, talaga, kapag ka galing ka ng palengke, galing ka sa labas, kapag ka hudyo ka, nakakahawa ka ng kung ano-ano doon, so part of it, uh, really, you have to wash and to purify yourself from those things. Ngayon kasi, ang paghugas ng kamay, eh, hindi lang siya may religious sense. Ito talaga ay hygiene na ngayon, di ba? Kasi dahil sa COVID-19. But during those times, it is part of their tradition. It is part of their purification. Ang naging problema is ito. Masyado sila naging obsessed that it has become, it has become the moral. Kita nyo, naging moral basis na sa pagiging banal o sa pagiging hindi. Nawala na yung original na meaning nito. Kaya anong ginawa nila? Ay, dito si Kristo. Obserbahan nga natin. 
Aba, hindi sila naghugas ng kanilang mga kamay. Perhaps sa atin hygiene, dapat naghugas. But for them, on the other side of it, the spiritual side of it, anong nangyari? Dahil obsessed na sila doon sa purification, sa ritual ng paghuhugas. They become judgmental. Kapag tayo po'y naging obsessed sa externalities of the celebration, nakakalimutan natin kung ano yung mas mahalaga. Halimbawa, very concrete sa akin, minsan kasi may mga tiyatawag ko na ambus, ambus confessions, na kapag kapagkatapos ng misa mo o kung saan ka napunta, Father, pwede mangumpisal. Sure, why not? May isang beses, nagmisa ko sa isang school. Lumapit sa akin yung bata pagkatapos ng misa ko. Father, pwede po bang mangumpisal? Ito, sige po, okay. O, sige po. Sabi ko, saan tayo? Na, ano, doon na lang tayo sa may malayo ng konti, mala, walang makakarinig. Sabi sa akin ng bata, Father, wala ka pong stola. Stola na violet. Eh, ganito. Ginagamit niya ng pare kapag ka may confession. Sabi ko, mahungupisal ka ba? Hindi. Father, wala po kayong stola eh. Ko, ah, o oh, sige. Okay lang ba sa'yo maghintay ka ng one hour? Kasi kukunin ko yung stola sa bahay. Kasi yung sa bahay na yun, 30 minutes from that place, babalik ka pa. So one hour or more pa. Depende sa traffic. Okay lang ba sa'yo? Sabi niya sa akin, ah, hindi po, Father. Eh, Mangumpisal ka na. Andito ka? Andito ako? Sincerely ka ba mangungumpisal? O hindi? Nangumpisal din naman siya. Kita na example is that externalities. Hindi makapagkumpisal kapag ka walang istola. Sabi ko sa kanya, Andyan ka po ang importante yung kasalanan mo. May pari po ako, andito na po. Ano pang kailangan mo? Feeling niya invalid ang kanyang confession. Bakit? Walang stola, externalities. Okay naman po. Dapat naman kasi meron din eh. Pero, on that particular moment, wala akong dalang stola. Ihintayin mo pa ba? Nang one hour? O uwi pa ako, maghihirap pa ako. Kaya sabi ko sa kanya, pagkatapos ng confess, sabi ko sa kanya, alam mo, para magkakasala ako dahil sa iyo. Kasi parang nakakainis. Bakit? Externalities. Isa pa, kapag abawang orden ka na pari, minsan nagkakamali-mali ka kasi hindi ka pasanay. Uh, one time, nasan ako sa isang community o sa isang lugar na kung saan, marami mga sabi na natin, mga mga matatanda na na all throughout their lives, nagsisimba na yan. Daily. So, they know the mass. Kung baga alam na alam nila yung misa, buong misa, alam nila yan. Kaya pag nagkakamali ka, alam agad nila yan. I one time, bagong ordain ako, siyempre, nag, of course, kailangan mo pa ng mga kopya, lahat-lahat. Isang sa consecration, nagkamali ako. Di ba yung sa consecration, instead na yung pag-consecrate ko, instead na yung i-consecrate ko yung body, ang na-consecrate ko yung wine. Tapos yung mga nagsisimba doon, mga matatanda na ito, expert sa misa, nakatingin sa akin, parang gusto nang, parang gusto nang umakyat doon sa altar at sabihin sa akin, Father, may mali ka. Tapos ako naman, knowing, later on, na-realize ko na, mukhang may mali nga ako. So, may, hindi na lang ako nagpahalata, I go with it. Pagkatapos ng misa, lumapit sa akin yung isa, Father, hindi valid ang ating misa. Bakit? Mali ang na-consecrate mo, Father. Gumanan ako sa kanya. Meron po tayong tinatawag na Ecclesia Soplet. Ibig sabihin, kapag ka nagkakamali ang pare, the church supplies. Ibig sabihin, hindi naman sa pagkakalat ng pagkakataon ay perfecto ang mga pare. Sabi sa akin, invalid ang misa. Kapag ka na masyado tayo naging obsessed sa externalities, sometimes 
nakakalimutan natin kung ano talaga ang ibig sabihin the underlying principle of the rituals that we do. The Mass is a Eucharistic rite. It is a rite of love. Yan po yung ritual ng pagmamahal ng Diyos na sinasabi sa atin, do this in memory of me. Bagamat may rules yan, may rubrics. Pero kung minsan tayo po'y nagkakamali, minsan kahit sa atin, personal, kaya kung minsan ititingnan din natin yung, yung ating bang understanding nung ritual at kung anong nasa puso natin, connected ba ito? Because hypocrites, by the way, these are people who are showing off. Ganun po ang nangyari sa mga pariseyo, mga eskriba. The rituals and traditions that they had, they become, you know, just to make, it's a show. Naging palabas na lamang na sila'y banal. But deep inside, they are judgmental people. They are people who condemn people. They are a condemning heart. Pag nagkakamali lang isang tao, wala na, kinukondem ka na. Kaya ito yung challenge sa atin. To never forget the law of love. Kaya kapag ka sinabing law of love, we become more understanding. We become more forgiving. Because we know that the law of God is all about forgiveness. It's all about loving. Hindi yung nangusga ka. Hindi yung pakitang tao ka. Yan po ang ating tandaan. Kasi nasabi ni Kristo, eh, ano ba, nakalimutan nyo na ba ang tunay na batas? The mass is a right of love. Kapag tayo po'y nagmamahal, traditions natin, hopefully, they help us communicate the values that we want to communicate. And what is that value? Hopefully, it is love, it is forgiveness. Hindi yung naguhugas, nagmamalinis. Baka po tayo yung sa kanta ng banal na aso, santong kabayo, natatawa ako. He, 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 he. Let us all stand. Our worship is meaningless unless it proceeds from a sincere heart. We pray now to God, the Father, to create within us a clean heart and a steadfast heart. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the Church may always be guided by the light of the Gospel, and may not seek security in structures. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may not close our eyes to the real human needs of the poor who are in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize that the real test of how we are carrying, carrying out God's will is to be found in the way we treat others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be strengthened in their weaknesses and be freed from every infirmity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, <coughs> parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Bishops of the Philippines and for our <coughs> brothers and ministry, at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Penyafort. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly the, the, Father, create within us a sincerity of heart, so that we may love and respect others as you treasure them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Bless our Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands that become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work every man hands that become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through Him, with great goodness you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in a joyful celebration, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as He promised through the words of His holy prophets. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born, born of, of the house of the servant, servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. God, God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, Savior as He promised through the, the words, words of His, His holy prophets. prophets. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we bar be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick, then afterwards the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall have the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.